it was good check it out so i'm gonna do this video right here in the car because uh, i came to the cemetery again with uh you know vi to visit Marilyn monroe because uh a friend told me some interesting stuff uh you know i was talking to her and uh you know i mentioned that that uh one of my cemetery videos had all these views out of nowhere so she asked me if i had heard about the Marilyn monroe thing that she saw it on tiktok that's like the most famous words now like i hear so many people say oh i saw it on tiktok or whatever so i guess that's the new thing right or it's been happening for a while now so she said that on tiktok that she saw that this guy had bought the the tomb above Marilyn monroe because um i guess he was obsessed with, well I, that's why i'm gonna title this obsessed or or in love or something like that um you guys can let me know what you think you think it's more a perverted thing obsession or just a fan like number one fan kind of thing or <clears throat> you know you guys let me know what you think but i guess he bought the um tomb above hers and he asked his wife to bury him face down on top of uh, Marilyn monroe and if she didn't do that that he was gonna haunt her like you know come back and haunt her over and over and whatever till i guess she died or something but um so the way it went was i guess they met joe dimaggio which was i think marilyn monroe's last husband he had bought two cemetery plots one for him and her and uh you know when she passed away she was buried there but he he decided he wanted to sell it um you know this guy was a rich businessman i don't know if he was in new york or somewhere doing business they were staying at the same place as uh joe dimaggio so they sold he sold them the plots you know one for him one for his wife then he requested to be buried face down above marilyn monroe you know looking down on top of her so that's pretty crazy and um and uh so you know yeah she she kept up with uh you know she she did what he asked her and uh you know i mean even on his grave right on the headstone it says uh you you know you gave us everything and so much more um you're one in a million freddy I, i'm paraphrasing but i think that's exactly what it says and uh you know his name was richard f poncher and his wife was elizabeth less leslie or leslie i gotta i gotta check out the the thing i'll put it though um poncher right and so uh you know it seems like he i mean he was loved i guess you know to say that he, he was someone that gave everything and more and he was one in a million so i mean i'll let you guys decide if you think it's more of a perverted thing or just like a number one fan kind of thing i mean look at the way people go crazy over michael jackson or that kind of stuff right so uh but yeah who knows how much he paid they, they never disclosed that how much he paid joe dimaggio uh one thing that did happen was after he died the wife fell on hard times and she had put up his uh, his uh uh, plot up for like bid people were bidding on it i think it was up to four million but then when but then she died out of nowhere so they ended up you know what she was going to do was move him over to her plot and then sell the one right above Marilyn monroe to whoever offered the most i guess all those deals didn't go through maybe they were just playing like like you know oh you know i think it was up to four million someone from japan or something and there were other offers but it didn't go through and then so anyways you know long story short uh she, you know she ended up dying it doesn't even have a um year that she passed away and then so they just buried her next to her husband so it's marilyn monroe you know richard on top of marilyn monroe face face down then the wife to the left and then under the wife to marilyn's left is hugh hefner last time i came i didn't see it because the flowers were blocking and then sure enough i look back at the video that i had done and you could see uh hugh just hugh's first name and then so i was like what i gotta go check it out again so you know hugh hefner he had put uh marilyn monroe in a in a, a playboy magazine right which he credits to helping launch his career and it they say that he never even met her but since he had that you know so you guys decided with him too i mean is it really like that like i mean he never met her but still he credits her with uh that he put a nude photo of her in his uh one of his first playboy magazines or the first one and so you know he's he says he felt that connection with her so he did pay 75 grand to be buried in the plot to her left 
So Hugh Hefner is right there too from the Playboy Mansion. Uh, you know, he died in 91, I believe, 2017. And so he got buried next to her. He, sa he said that, that he always felt, you know, that connection because she helped launch his career even though they, the two never met, right? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty interesting, right? So, you know, I'll call this one, I'll put, you know, obsessed or in love or whatever. And you guys could decide, comment what you guys think. How much would you pay to be buried next to, um, you know, uh, whoever you consider yourself to be a number one fan of? How much would you pay to be buried next to them? So, I mean, you guys let me know what you think. So, yeah, I mean, it never came out how much the Richard paid for to be buried above um, Marilyn. But Hugh Hefner did pay 75 grand to be buried to her left. So, that was pretty crazy. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this informative. I thought it was crazy, you know. Um... I found it so interesting. I was like, dude, I got to make a video about that. And I'll put the guy's picture. I'll put their all their headstones and all that stuff. I mean, I put it in the video anyways, but but uh, you guys could check it out. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. Hit, hit the like, you know, comment, all that stuff. All right. Thanks. Hey, what's good, everybody? There's people here, so I'll try to be discreet. Um, so check it out. So here's Marilyn Monroe. Hugh Hefner and then the dude that I guess you guys decide obsessed fan you guys call it and his wife oh shoot hold on oh, damn my alarm okay check it out Richard F. Launcher to the man who gave us everything and more, you're one in a million, Freddie. 1986. His wife, Elizabeth. My life well lived. You always had a joke to tell. I never took a bad picture. That's funny. And then, Mr. Hugh Hefner. Playboy Mansion. Uh, you guys already know so yeah so I'll make the whole story uh, or I already did if I'm editing this so pretty crazy right all right